So this is question three from the 2018 Unit 5 physics paper. I'm going to go through this answers in this video. If you want to give the questions a go, pause the video. Uh, they're attached below or they're... We'll just pause them, see them on the screen. But we'll start then. So give the meaning of the letter Q in the equation Q equals delta U plus W. And Q is the energy transferred or the heat energy transferred or the energy supplied. I can't spell transferred. There we go. Energy transferred. Uh, a cylinder of helium gas is used to inflate a balloon. The helium gas expands into the balloon. Explain why the temperature of the helium does uh, of the gas does not change if the balloon is inflated slowly. So generally we'll see a heat change when gases expand into an area. But uh, with this one, because it's slowly filling, we need, there's time for energy transfer from the surroundings to the helium gas. And this idea that this is occurring, or this expansion of the gas as it goes into the balloon is isothermal for your two marks on that one. So part B, a sealed cylinder contains helium gas the cylinder containing the helium gas is heated. The cylinder has fixed dimensions. Which quantity increases for the helium atom when the cylinder is heated? So go for each of these. The average density of the atoms. Now that's got really nothing to do with uh, the heating it up. If we had our six atoms at low temperature and then we heat it up and in the same size space, so we've still got six atoms in there, the density hasn't changed, they just might be flying around a lot quicker. But the density stays the same, so we've got six per the same uh, size shape. Uh, the kinetic energy of the atoms, that definitely increases when we heat something up. So that's looking lightly. We go with total number of atoms. This at 273 Kelvin, this at 333 Kelvin. Total number of atoms, that stays the same. And the volume of each atom, that doesn't change. There's no kind of expansion of the atoms. So A, C, and D we can rule out, and it's going to be B. Then in part two, uh, the gas cylinder helium gas uh, contains helium gas at a temperature of 283 Kelvin. The pressure of the gas is three times 10 to the five pascals. The volume of the gas remain, con remains constant, 0 0.1 meters cubed. The temperature of the helium gas increases to 333 Kelvin. Calculate the new pressure of the gas at 333 Kelvin. What I would do here, got lots of info, is identify what each of these means for my equation down here. So I've got P1, V1, T1, P2, V2, and T2. We'll go for each one and try and work out where it goes. So I'm looking to calculate the new pressure first of all. So what I'm trying to work out, new pressure is going to be P2, the second pressure. Uh, go to the start, we've got the gas cylinder that contains helium at a temperature of 283 Kelvin. So that's my temperature one, 283 Kelvin. Then got the pressure of the gas is three times 10 to the five. So that's my original pressure. So that's that tick, that ticked. The volume of the gas remains constant at 0 0.1 meters cubed. Oh, that's told me that the volume's 0 0.1 meters cubed, but that it remains constant. So volume two also is going to be 0 0.1 meters cubed. That doesn't change. And then I've got temperature of the helium gas increases to 333 Kelvin. So that's going to be my second temperature. So by setting this out like this, I identify all my values and then I can just look at this equation. They always give you the equation. So I can then start to put this in. I've got P1, 3.0 times 10 to the 5 times V1, 0.1 over T1, 283 Kelvin. And that's going to equal P2, which I don't know, times 0.1, the volume, divided by 333. So that's my first mark. Now, 
if you've got a generous exam, Anna, if you put these down and you've got them wrong, you've got these values wrong, but then you start to put them into the equation correctly. So say we said P1, we didn't know, and P2 was here. So we got them the wrong way around. Substituting it in gets you a mark, whether it's uh, with the correct values or not. If you've identified your values here and put them in, a generous examiner might give you a mark there for it. Rearranging, we're going to times by 333. Both sides, that gives 3 times 10 to the minus 5 times 0 0.1 times 333 over 283 equals 0 0.1 times P2. So I'm going to divide by 0 0.1. I'll get 3 times 10 to the 5 times 0 0.1 times 333 over 283 times 0 0.1 equals P2. And if I times all that out, I get 3.53 times 10 to the 5 pascals.